It turned out to be a, a fantastic monologue. Like, I didn't even oh, think it was written that well. <laughs> no, it wasn't. He was. <laughs> 18, Peter, take one, Mike. Yeah, ready. Alright, you can start on halfway. Oh. Yeah. And then I That's cut. <laughs> How are you guys? Good. Going? I don't know if Kern's going to make things. it another day, but you know, we're trying. He needs extra love. Aww. I need hugs. Yeah. Our looks clear? Mark, we're going to cover that. That'll be a couple shots from now. Oh, so I should, yeah, I'll yeah. worry about that. We'll worry about that before yeah. we do it. Right. <laughs> <laughs> no, really, we'll, we'll yeah. burn yeah. that bridge when we come to it. Absolutely. I love it. <laughs> come on, man, he's one of us. Maybe he really doesn't know. <laughs> one of us? You barely know the asshole! Whatever. Take it away, big boy. Shh. One more time, one more time, one more time. Get angry at Francis. That just pisses you off. What? We didn't say no on Calvin? No, uh, the. Uh, well, yeah, let's, let's try a whole one angrier. Yeah. Just, just keep up the yeah, angry. yeah it's Francis. Okay. Yeah, the, yeah. All right, fine. Fuck it, whatever. Take it away, big boy. Cut. It's cut. Cut. <laughs> <laughs> I've been seeing it all takes, but this taste is worse than um, the second one. Oh, so you're saying the last one? The, the last one. very last one mm -hmm. we just did. Which was the one you liked the most, right? Yeah. It was definitely Just go again. Well, I like bits and pieces of all of them. So. Okay. Well, then, are we good or? Come on, man. He's one of us. Maybe he really doesn't know. One of us? You barely know the asshole! What if it was me? If it was me, I wouldn't be here. Oh, 
okay, fine, whatever. Take it away, big boy. Cut. 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 <laughs> Good. I don't care, man. That was bunch. great. Yeah, let's move on. Oh, moving on. If 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 Crow were just gay, he'd be much more well adjusted than he is. Yeah. Some kind of sociopathic yeah. sadomasochist. He's really wrecked. Yeah. Well, Slapsy, Matthew, you really pulled it out. You're a deep dude now. Everyone, how was that? Bravo, Slapsy Maxi! Well done. You really pulled it out of him there, huh? <laughs> like you to do better. Oh, is that a challenge? Damn right it is. Well, you want to put some money on it? You just bet on this? It's torture. Oh, no, it's not. Not yet, anyway. <laughs> not getting soft all of a sudden. So how about it, big guy? You want to wager which one of us cracks him first? How much? A thousand? <laughs> Sounds like a pussy bet. All right, uh, five. Okay, faggot, you're on. Eat my dust. That was great. All right, moving on. Yes. 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 There's one no worm, uh, sorry. Uh, we want to start on the line that said, you see when all you can do. For me in that time, yeah. I shared a lot of. Okay, got it. Me in that clock, shared a lot of time. You got it, got it, got it. All right. And I'm, I'm doing it louder than normally. Yep. Okay. Let me know when you're set, up. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Me and that clock have spent a lot of time together. You see, when all you do for a living is poke lava in a cold, powdered asshole, a place of their young. He used to beat me out for so many years. Yeah. Yeah. You know, there's always well, one guy just ready for that time. you're. I've had that. Dan, Dennis Futsakaras and Robbie Ben slips in mine. Yeah, I went through that in the 90s. Like Sam Stephen Dorff was getting everything that I wanted. Sam Jackson. Like Sam Jackson. That's what I'm That's kind of confusing. I'm sorry. The story of the Beatles when they went to Bernambur. Yeah, the guy who plays John Lennon, he's a hard friend of mine. The vultures. He was tremendous. I'm back at the watering hole in New Hampshire, which is called. A lot of stage right now. I don't know. I thought you were going to get in. No. Is that the guy from the South Carolina? Yeah, no, I haven't seen that one yet. It's a really good movie, but. Robbie Benson, huh? Well, you got one that he didn't. <laughs> I don't know how that happened. But I'm still competitive. I'll see, you know, directed by, it was like a sitcom, directed by, by Robbie Benson. Why couldn't I have directed him? <laughs> no, but nowhere Just keep it nice and really quiet, please. Whoop. John Lennon's teenage years, he needs all <laughs> to be together. In fact, the end of the movie is he's just going off to start <laughs> where Bat beats. I was stupid. I'm sorry, guys, but you guys are right in the middle. Action. Time! Action. 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 Max! That's enough. Action. Max! No, I'm sorry. Do it again. Yep. Action. Time! Max! That's enough. Uh, I need you to do, uh, yell at him louder. Scold him. Scold him. <laughs> so rolling, and set. Action. Time! Max! That's it. Yeah, I'll say. <laughs> I didn't even get to send my email. Is this really necessary? Do you want your share or not? Yeah! But come on, Crow! He's one of us! Okay. That's it. Right. That's a wrap today. That's a wrap today.
a letter of intent, and I'm telling you, this movie is like Black Stallion or like a Mickey Rooney movie with Lassie. It's it's this timeless kind of family film, and it's, you know, by the way, no one's ever made a movie about a boy and his dog that lost money. <laughs> You know what Mark Hamill's three favorite things are in the world? <laughs> Altadena, chocolate milk, yogurt, cherry yogurt, specifically plain vanilla yogurt no, no, no. with to... cherries added into it. You... I ask him, what do you want in the craft service? And he says, tuna, albacore tuna, white albacore tuna in the little things so I can eat it. So I, we go out <laughs> and we get him white albacore tuna in the little cans so he can eat it. This is how you keep actors happy. This is how you keep a guy who probably would want $100,000 to do this movie that's doing it for a lot less than that happy. You give them what they want. You ask them what they want. You make sure they have it. Tony Todd needs cholesterol bar cookies, uh, chocolate chip or peanut butter. Mark needs that bullshit. Noah Hathaway needs muscle milks. Mm -hmm. Courtney so Palm needs fresh veggies. And Mackenzie needs protein shakes and muscle milks as well. If you give them these things... They will act in your movie, and they will be fucking awesome every day. And Kern needs high chew. I don't need it. Oh, Titanic. Oh, hey. That's what this one is. This, this, one is, this one's, uh, only comes out in Canadian weather. So if it goes, really, if it goes late tonight, then... Can you make a take one marker? Action. <laughs> What day is it of shooting? I was just thinking. Friday. The extra funny thing about what you were just saying. Yeah. Is that Sarah spending all her time spending solitaire on the Blackberry? She's playing solitaire on the, on the Blackberry. Blackberry. Oh, she's banned. <laughs> Kick her off the set, Grant. You have the authority. I do. Not. Just tell her I you're out of here. Not. Kick her off. <laughs> These people, they come to set. We invite them to set, and we say, you know, watch a take, hang out. Here's a can of soda, here's some chips, here's sit in the little chair, and they do. And then 10 minutes goes by, and then 20 minutes, and half an hour, then an hour, and it's still fucking there. And they don't realize that they're invited to set for 15 minutes, maybe 20, maybe a half hour. Maybe they come during lunch, and then after that, they need to fucking leave, and they don't leave. So then you got to have Joe Block send a slightly offensive email to tell them that they can't go back to set anymore. And now I'm going to have to send some more of those emails tonight. And just tell people, sorry, can't come back. Banned from the set. Um, you abused your power, you abused the privilege. Fuck you. Banned. Taking off. Thank you so much for having us. Thanks, Sarah. <laughs> <laughs> it was know, really fun. Oh. Thank, Thank you, you for coming. too. Come back again. <laughs> the business yeah. of taking photos is over. It's all about making images. If you see billboards nowadays, these movie billboards, oh my god. It's basically like you airbrush someone's face and they, ah, and, and they blow it up full screen. Pooper. Shit. What happened? Party pooper took a shit. What happened? All of a sudden, piss starts leaking out of the bottom. Is it the women's Coming or the men's up? side? Which side? I think it's the women's side, but I don't know. The women blew it up? Party pooper is taking a shit. What happened in the bathroom? I don't want to talk about it. I'm from Colorado. And naturally, there's no acting out there, so I came out here for school so I could have a backup plan. I wanted to go into the Navy, and my dad was all for that. My mom was like, no, you should be an actress, so I came down here, went to school, and then started acting. Being the title character in that sense, I thought they were going to drop me. You probably don't want to put this in, but I really thought I was going to be dropped because I'm not a name actress. I'm just this unknown and I was really afraid that they wanted more money and if someone were to pick it up and finance it that they would want, you know, a name actor. I lose a lot of roles to star names and it's really upsetting for me because I really want to, you know, bring out my career because I think I have what it takes. And so being in this film with all these other name actors, I'm, I'm astonished. Like, I feel so lucky to be with Tony Todd, Mark Hamill, Jimmy Duvall, Andy McKenzie, like, and even now if um, Danny Trejo gets on board, like, I think it's great. And then Noah Hathaway came in, like, he blew me away. I'm so happy he's a part of the project, and I just feel, I, I, well, I'm not intimidated at all. Like, I feel like I belong here, and this is where I'm comfortable. 
And the guys are great, you know, they're just other actors or other human beings doing what we all love to do. So carrying the film with my name isn't that big of a deal because I really don't have that many lines till the end. So I'm not like super stressed. And I think I look sexy anyway on the table. And that's what matters because that's what's going to sell the movie. My dad's like, you know, if the cover of the movie is just you with your body covered in sushi, people will buy it. <laughs> I was like, okay, sure. <laughs>